Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Rob Dollar, back with another vid. Another fucking vid. I got an unboxing. It ain't really an unboxing. It's more of a story, information, and shit like that. You dig what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, this is an eBay pickup. Now, everybody knows eBay is risky motherfucking business. We all know that. Especially if the person that you're buying from has zero feedback. He got no motherfucking feedback. And he probably just got the motherfucking account. And he has zero feedback. So a lot of people be like, yo, if a motherfucker got zero feedback, you know, he might be suspect. You know what I'm saying? So, but before I get into this video, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Say, yo, dollars, we love what you're doing. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Also... Shout out to Scoop. I was talking shit to him. It was a joke because I fed off of the motherfucking comments in his uh, video that fit the unboxing shit. And um, I was just fucking with him because if you guys remember when we first started this, it was all fun and games. Now it's like everybody's robots and they it's pretty much more business. It's not fun like it used to be. So I just try to take it back to the essence of when I started doing YouTube videos, which was in 2013. We had fun. We took shots at each other. Niggas caught me snoring and recorded it, put it on camera. It was all fun. And I and I and I only fed off of the comments in his video. So I was just having fun with it, you know, running with it, just joking. So, you know, for you people to take it serious, that was that was corny. You know what I'm saying? It was all a joke. I don't know if he bagged up 50 shoes. I don't know none of that. You know, I know the shit was fucking a chunk of shoes falling out boxes. And it was a dope video. I've done business with Scoopies 100 percent legit. Me and him got a good, cool relationship, no homo, and I get good prices from him whenever I want something. So big shout out to Scoop. It was taking shots to Scoop. It was simply a joke. I was just taking it back to the essence of when I started doing YouTube. We had fun with it. We expressed ourselves however we wanted. Now it's more like robots doing videos. I, I don't even want to watch videos no more because niggas just like robots. And if you know, and if you guys know Scoop, he does take shots at people too on some joke and shit. So you guys be easy. It was all a joke. You dig what I'm saying? I fuck with Scoop. And, uh, yeah, man. But, uh, let's have fun with these videos, man. Because I don't even want to watch niggas' videos no more. It's more of a business. People biting their tongue. They not expressing themselves how they used to. So, it's corny to me. You dig what I'm saying? It's weak. It's corny. And I don't even really watch videos like I used to. Everybody is more of a business thing. Trying to get free shoes from China. Trying to get free shoes from Champ. Trying to get free shoes from Finisher. It ain't fun no more. It's more of a business. I like having fun. That's why I don't care if I get what they call it, seating or seated or whatever the fuck it is. I don't care about none of that. You ain't got to send me shit. I got paid. I'll buy whatever I want. And if I don't buy nothing, I'm going to tell y'all motherfucking story, you dig? And we're going to have fun. But anyway, I copped these from eBay. You guys know I've been looking for some black toe 14 size 11 and a half. My homegirl's husband needed a pair and I was like trying to get them for a good price. But I couldn't find them for a good price. I negotiated with somebody to go down on the price a little bit and he had zero feedback. It was real risky. And uh, guess what I got in the box? Anybody take a guess? It was risky, zero, zero feedback, everything. I unboxed them already. Size 11 and a half, man. So shout out to the eBay seller that zero feedback, never did business. He gave me a good price on these. Shipping was quick. I did manage to get size 11 and a half black toe 14s for my homegirl's husband. They hyped, picking them up. So don't listen. See, people always say like, Oh, if a person got zero feedback, though, man, you could talk to those people, message them, see if they legit, fill them out. You could tell if a person is legit by simply talking to them. These are 100% authentic. Everything he described in his post, it was accurate. The nigga said specifically, yo, if you give me this much, I will ship them out ASAP. I paid him. 10 minutes later, he gave me a tracking number that he did in his house with the computer because you could do them on online. The next day, he shipped them out. Two days later, I got them at my door. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 11 and a half. So just because the person has zero feedback doesn't make him not legit. Or, or you shouldn't have to, oh, I, I can't. You don't have feedback, so I can't trust you. That's bullshit. You could trust them. Holla at them. See what they talking about. And get deals, man. There's deals out there. 
He's all 100% legit. Just like he promised. No scam. Got him fast. Shipped to me. Dig what I'm saying? 100% legit. Y'all know monkeys don't come with that inside of it. You dig what I'm saying? 100% legit. Look at that. Boom. You dig? So just because a person has zero feedback on eBay doesn't mean he's not legit. You dig what I'm saying? That's just the moral of the story. I know it's risky business when copping off of eBay. But it's risky business copping from a retailer. It's risky business copping online. It's risky business fucking copping from a person in the street. You dig what I'm saying? Make sure you guys communicate. Just because a person has zero feedback doesn't mean he's not legit, man. This is Rob Dollar. Shout out to Scoop. Shout out to everybody that do them fake unboxings. And uh, this is Rob Dollar. I'm getting out of here, y'all. Peace.